Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a video on circuits and how to simplify a circuit system um, and find the equivalent resistance or the total resistance in a circuit. Uh, so say you were given this circuit, uh, this part of a circuit, and you have all these resistors. Remember resistors uh, are act like friction, so they resist uh, current flow. Um, how would you find the total resistance of um, all of these? Well, there's something you need to know about circuits. It's something called series and parallel. Um, so if you have two um, resistors in this form, this is called parallel. And the reason it is is because if you follow the battery from the voltage there, um, it has two paths in which um, the current can flow. It can go to R1 or to R2. Um, so it can kind of split there, so that's why it's called parallel. And to find the total resistance is a relationship we know. Um, you can redu reduce it down into a single uh, resistor. So you combine those R1 and R2s into R total. Um, and because it's in parallel, we know there's a relationship um, that we can uh, from that circuit, and that is simply one over one over each resistor, and you add them up. And that's how you would find the total resistance for that simple circuit. Now, that looks really complicated to write, um, although the relationship is true. So uh, It looks like the audio got cut real quick. But as I was saying, the shorthand notation um, to writing this is simply saying R total is R1 is in parallel, which is the double line there, with R2. So that um, shorthand notation represents the R total um, above right there. So it's just a quick way of writing it. Now you have to um, be familiar with this type of um, simple circuit where the current has a path that's only pretty much just one path it can go but it passes through two resistors. So if you want to find the total resist um, the resistance in that circuit notice how the current has to pass through R1 and R2 so simply to find the total uh, resistance in series um, you would just simply combine them by adding. And this is called a circuit in series where the resistors add um, in that form. And so simply it's just adding the two resistors to get the total. Now with that uh, standard knowledge, which you should know kind of uh, going in um, to these types of problems, um, here's kind of how we can approach it using that shorthand notation. So this any circuit can be reduced into one single resistor and the rest of the uh, um, like the battery and whatever else is included. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from right to left and we're going to break the circuit down into a single total resistor. Um, so notice how R4 and R5 on the right there, the very uh, back, are in series. That current has to flow through both those points or both those resistors to continue throughout the circuit. So those two resistors are in series. So we can represent that as a total resistor for that section by rewriting the circuit and notice how we combined R4 and R5 to be a single resistor as denoted in blue. Now we want to continue to uh, break it down even more. Now let's look at the central part of this circuit here where there's R2 and R3. Um, do you notice anything there? Well, those are also in series um, because the current has to go through both of those um, points there or both of those resistors. So now that can both be reduced to a single resistor as well. So here's our original circuit or our first reduced circuit. Now the only thing that we're doing since this other part is in series R2 and R3, we simply put that as a single resistor as well. And I'm showing that they're in series by um, adding them together in, again in blue. Now look, this looks like the first part right here. Um, they're all in parallel. You have R1, R2, and then you could say R3. Um, so, whoop. so there you are, R1, R2 plus R3, and R4 plus R5. Um, so those are all in parallel. And to represent that notation as we've sh uh, shown for shorthand is R is in parallel with R. But um, to be more precise, let's first reduce the circuit into a single resistor, and that's what we do. By showing that all these are in parallel, we are, we are combining the resistance to have a total resistance, which we're calling Rx. So um, remember that longhand notation over here where we have the R total is 1 over the 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Um, so that would look a little something like this. So you have 1 over, and then you first do what's in uh, parallel with one another. So you have just 1 over R1, 
and then you have to add that to the second part of the circuit that's in parallel, which is the combination of R2 and R3. And the same part, you got to do one over the third part, which was R4 and R5, um, which are in series. Now that looks really complicated, so let's rewrite that in the shorthand notation. So you have the total resistance is equal to R1, which is all in parallel with R2 and R3, and all that is in parallel with R4 and R5. And that's kind of how you um, write uh, the total resistance, the equivalent resistance, however you want to call it, using this shorthand notation. And it is a wonderful way of uh, you know, reducing down your circuit into a single resistor, and, and it's just uh, really easy to grasp by kind of figuring out the puzzle by working your way out to in. So I hope this video helped. I'll be making a couple more um, circuit videos um, on this same topic, and we'll see what else we got. Good luck.